In this short video, we are going to talk about the null pointer in the C programming language. So what is a null pointer? Basically the pointer which we set equal to null or the keyword null is actually a null pointer. Now if you were to talk about the definition of null pointer then this means that it is pointing to nothing. So on our screen I'm simply going to create a null pointer for that I'm going to include the library stdio.h and then create my main function. And in this main function I'm going to create a pointer. Let's call it the integer p and set it equal to null. After that, I'm going to use the printf statement. And in here, I'm going to pass, uh, let's see, let's just get the value of the pointer. So we say the value of the pointer is as, and then we do backslash tab, and then we pass in percentage p for the value of pointer, and then we pass in our pointer after the comma, which is p. And after that, we can do return zero. So now if I save my program and execute it, I get on my screen that the value of pointer is nothing. 0, 0, 0 means null. Now where do we use these null pointers? Basically, these are used to counteract dangling pointers. So let me just quickly write an example of dangling pointer. So now as you can see that I've created a pointer and I've used the deallocation method to create a dangling pointer. So currently if I do something like printf and do percentage p backslash t and then do I would get a garbage address. So this is actually a garbage address. So to get rid of dangling pointers what I can do is that I can set p is equals to null. So at least I don't have garbage addresses that can ruin my program or my code. So setting a value to null is really helpful. So that was null pointers in the C programming language and how to deal with dangling pointers using the null pointers.